doctor who gave us the statement about the first pieces of uh, debris turned out they couldn't find them again but tony abbott giving the information about what they had found so parking the mode disabled coming out this morning um, i don't know what he's going to say we do have these two pieces of debris one is circular gray and green the other is rectangular and orange one can deduce uh, the circular the gray and the green that tends to be the color that aircraft fuselage is underneath the paint the raw fuselage is a, is a gray or it's then painted a green uh, the rectangular part well obviously it's orange light brass light vest those sort of things but we don't know we're getting ahead of ourselves i'm getting ahead of myself here we're waiting we're just eight minutes away from when the prime minister is due to speak and that will give us what we need to know the fact also carol is that the relatives the families are being called together in beijing as david mckenzie has been reporting this morning so you know with a with a dose of experience and a, and a sort of a feel for the way these things go a confluence of events is taking place which would lead us to reasonably conclude that something significant is to be announced this morning. Yeah, you mentioned the families were being called together. Sarah Seidner is outside the hotel. Are you in Kuala Lumpur, Sarah? Yes, I'm here. A and you're you're in front of the hotel where where some. I'm actually in. Yes, I'm actually inside. Um, basically, what's happened is the families have been called, um, and um, they've been talking to the families. So this is an unusual movement, but generally speaking, you know, the families are brief. They have been very concerned about not getting enough information fast enough. So now uh, the government, Malaysian Airlines, they've been making a concerted effort to try to get them the information before the media, before they have to see it come out on television. So this is a development. What the development is, we of course don't yet know until we hear from the Prime Minister, but just the fact that the Prime Minister is going to be speaking, uh, we don't hear from the um, so what is basically happening at this point is that both hotels, both in Beijing and here uh, in Kuala Lumpur, where the families are, they are right now in meetings um, with representatives from the government, the representatives from the airlines. I can tell you after being in the hotel with the families for several days um, that we have seen them go through so much. We saw a woman just yesterday bursting out in tears, inconsolable, people around her holding her, hugging her. Um, just so many emotions. As you might imagine, um, when your loved ones are missing and you simply keep coming up with this specific scenario, you keep coming up with, are they alive? Are they okay? Are they not alive? What is going on with them? And you just, it's just torture. And that's what they said. This has been a torture for them because they just don't know the answers. And so now they may be getting down to the the answer they want to hear. We won't know that until we hear from the Prime Minister, but these families have been through 17 days of absolute hell, Carol. Oh, Sarah Seidner, and I think that's an understatement. So stand by five minutes feet. ago and exit the highway until the Malaysian Prime Minister four. makes this statement. Uh, Commander Marks, are you still with me? I am. Um, you, you mentioned the exit before, the highway. you decided to possibly get images of this debris in the water tomorrow. You sound certain that you're going to get images of this debris in the water. On to CR-52, near College Avenue South. Well, I can tell you the capabilities of not only the, our aircraft, but, uh, but of aircraft of all these countries. Uh, for the most part, you can say if they fly over it, they can see it. It's, uh, it's not a matter of if they can see it. It's a matter of flying over the right space. So uh, if they do have a location and they fly over it, there is not much of a doubt that they, those planes, and especially the ships, can see whatever it is out there. All right. Commander Marks, thank you so much. Richard Quest, Sarah Seidner. I'm going to turn it over to New York and Anderson Cooper now. Anderson, take it away. You know, thanks very much. Uh, if you are just joining us, we are waiting a uh, uh, statement to be made by, uh, by uh, Malaysia's Prime Minister. Uh, we anticipate that in about three minutes from now. <clears throat> Obviously, significant it is uh, nearly 10 p.m. in Kuala Lumpur, uh, where the base for, for these operations for the Malaysian mm -hmm. government from Malaysian Airlines has been, uh, has been going on. I'm here with our Richard Quest, uh, who has been monitoring developments all morning, all weekend long. Uh, there has been sort of a rising sense of anticipation throughout this weekend. Uh, we're, let's 
take a look uh, at the table.